578 day strikes. Angry lecturers dumping varsities as so laments. The riders. Government shoddy treatment pushing lecturers out of varsity system, says ASU president. 70% of bright, promising young lecturers live in Nigeria, says Unilag ASU chair. Federal government to pay varsity's management's 170 billion naira earned allowances. Others, you find this story on page two. Mm. ASU again, you know. Uh, the, the ASU story has to come on the front page because Sano and NASU have called out their strike. Right. You know, they are, they are back at work. Yeah. You know, but the question is, what is NASU, SANU without ASU in the university system? Yeah. You know, NASU is not academic staff. SANU is senior staff. Mm. And, you know, senior staff, which are, 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 are the directors, most of them, don't teach. ASU is the academic staff. They are the ones that make the university tick. And they're not going back to work. So, yeah, NASA and Sanu, you can celebrate. According to the minister, mm. uh, you know, at, on last week he was saying that give me 24 hours, right. NASA and Sanu will resume. Uh, you know, I see that's a victory. It's not a victory yet. I think the matter should be resolved. But ASU is now looking, you know, to a large extent, they're now looking like, can't they discuss with you? If the government have been able to get NASA and Sanu back to work, why not you? Mm. What, why are you hard placed? You know, because it appears like this is ASU position. When you talk to ASU, they tell you, we're an intellectual body. We are not Sanu. Or NASU, who are intellectual and our decisions are usually based on facts and verifiable evidence. This is the argument they put. But I think that the the narrative is changing, you know, uh, it, it's going to become against them soon if they don't try and exploit to the very best of their advantage the principles of collective bargaining that you talk and at some point you concede, mm -hmm. you know, when, when you talk, you concede some things, you know, and begin to accept that you can't get everything you want. Mm -hmm. I think they, they have to do that at some point. The, the ASU president, Professor Shodeke, I, I don't like to describe as an angry man, but he's not a fellow that looks reasonable in argument. I don't know if you have watched him very mm -hmm. closely. He doesn't, he doesn't try to give at all. He quarrels everybody, especially television interviewers. It's so hard to try to interview him mm -hmm. because he comes across as combating first yes. and then he doesn't change his position mm -hmm. i hope that's not how he wants the academic staff because the principle of bargaining means that when you're talking to somebody at some point you meet the person halfway mm -hmm. and this is what the government is perhaps arguing that as you don't budge at all the demand is clear we want we don't want ips we want utahs we want uh, end academic allowance of uh, and uh, uh, revitalization for the 170 billion we're not moving the government is saying that the agreement for 2009 <laughs> It's not realistic anymore. So I've set up the Nimi Bricks Committee to renegotiate it. Let's renegotiate it. But ASU is not budging. But there are people who are saying that the government also respect education. You know, this is the argument of Professor Shodeke. He's saying that the government disrespects the academia in this country and the treatment of them is insensitive. For instance, Adama Damo first talk on, on Friday at that presidential briefing is that we will not pay them backlog. It's mm. no work, no pay. Mm. Maybe that's not the approach. You know, maybe that's not, it's not going to pay Sano and Asu. It's not going to pay them for the period of didn't work. These are the questions. You know, so Asu feels very disrespected. And now we're hearing that most of their members, the ones that have not jacked out, have not left the country, they're already taking to farming and driving Uber and other, other acti economic activities to survive. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're seeing. The professor, Dr. Asher is saying that the 70% of the, the young academia in the country that mm -hmm. should be enjoying mentorship from the senior profs have all left. You know that's a major brain drain in the academia if that's true you know you know but at the end of the day the, the discussion for me should center on how the government should resolve this and get the teachers back to classes because as they say when two elephants fight the grass suffers and in this case the students are suffering a lot you know those who parents can afford it are converting to private schools mm. to private universities to finish their education the ones whose parents are well there are even trying to travel abroad you know but a large part of the student population for federal government universities, especially the ones where the ASU strike is holding uh, down, they are just waiting and their lives are ebbing away, you know, because this matter looks like it's unresolvable. Now, one of the areas where I think that you, uh, this, this matter is getting out of hand is a very simple matter of IPs and UTAS. You know, I, I, because somebody tells me that that's the real board of contention. The ASU don't want to move to UTAS. The IPs, they want to stay with Utahs. Mm. The question here is that can ASU win on this argument? Because 
IPs is the federal government payment system for all federal government workers. Mm -hmm. Most of the members of ASU are members, are employees of the federal government, federal universities at least. Mm -hmm. And the federal government says the IPs is our one payment solution, one stop gap to pay everybody. So on the TS, like the TSA, we see on the one page dashboard how payments are made. Now, ASU has continuously resisted these IPs. People who are opponents of, uh, of the Utah system are saying that I, the IPs shows if you're taking double pay. If you're okay. earning more than one from a federal government source, okay. and this indeed is what most ASU members do, they earn here, they earn there. Some of even, some even teach in Unilag and also teach in Obafemi Arolo University in Ife, and sometimes also take salary from University of Ibadan, three federal universities, and this will expose them, and that's why they are resisting it. So I need evidence for that. I disagree to really prove that. If that's the case, indeed the Utah system has been defeated by any argument, by any sane argument. You know, we will see how it pounds that the strike continues. That's why Asu is saying, we are not Nasu, we are not Sanu. This strike will continue. It's going to break the back of Nigerian students, definitely. Did you enjoy this video? Hit the subscribe button for more. Leave a comment and like. Thank you.